vision, I saw a wooden picnic table with bench seats either side. Giving shade was a large red and white umbrella set in a hole in the middle of the table. Someone was unpacking a large cane picnic hamper and placing sandwiches, fruit and other delectables on plates atop a small blue and white checked cloth they had spread over the table. It was then that I noticed the surroundings. To the right, and as a backdrop, were volcanic mountains. To the left were bubbling hot springs and a steaming mist was rising from these thermal waters. I could hear the plop plopping sound of water bubbling up from deep beneath the earth and the hissing of steam being released. I could feel the earth trembling slightly and felt the fragileness and power of nature. For some reason, Yellowstone came to mind and with it the thought of grizzly bears. I thought it a strange place to set up a picnic. Picnics are meant to be fun, relaxing, fuss-free and de-stressing, not a time for vigilance and guarded wariness. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Psalm 23, 4 and 5. I watched as the person sat at the picnic table. They had unpacked the provisions, but now they were sitting with their backs straight and stiff. Their eyes were taking in their surroundings, scanning the horizon, the forested mountain slopes, the dense woodlands, the geographical nooks and crannies. Their ears were pricked and alert, like radar zeroing in on every sound in an effort to track any distant or nearby growl from wolf or grizzly or any other predator that may try and attack or rob them of their provisions. They were far from relaxed, far from restful and far from de-stressed. They were tense and wired tight, anxious in their vigilance. As they sat guarded, they were too preoccupied to partake of the picnic and too focused elsewhere to notice the trails of dark ants marching in to possess and carry away the spoils. In the vision, I saw a tiny army carry off a sandwich and a piece of fruit totally unnoticed. Seize for us foxes, little foxes, destroyers of vineyards, even our sweet-smelling vineyards. Song of Songs 2.15, Young's Literal Translation. Beloved, I believe the Lord is saying that, yes, we live in treacherous times. There is much seismic activity that is hidden beneath the surface, a shaking and a quaking of earth and heaven. Everything is intensifying and heating up, and we find ourselves living on a knife's edge in a seemingly perilous position. The enemy may be all around us, pressing in on all sides, but we are told not to fear evil. We are to receive comfort knowing that the Lord is with us. He himself has prepared a table of fellowship, intimacy and rest and every good thing to satisfy us. And yes, he prepares this table for us in the midst of the enemy where we are surrounded by oppression, opposition and affliction, trial and tribulation, overwhelming situations and seemingly impossible circumstances. But sometimes we sit at his table too preoccupied with watching out for powerful demonic forces, the bears and the wolves, that we know are present out there somewhere while we neglect to notice the little things that are just as destructive, the foxes that run like the ants at a picnic, the things of the flesh. Beloved, Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. John 15:5. As branches in the vine, we are to bear fruit. We have been chosen, appointed to bear fruit. The source of this fruit is Jesus himself. The fruit we are to bear is the fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the work which his presence within accomplishes, is love, joy, gladness, peace, patience, and even tempered forbearance. 
kindness, goodness, benevolence, faithfulness, meekness, humility, gentleness, self-control, self-restraint, continence. Galatians 5, 22, 23, Amplified Bible. The little foxes, the ants in the vision that ruin the vineyards, that hinder the growth and take away the tender fruit are the sins of the flesh. What are these little foxes or sins? They are the wrong things we think, the wrong things we say and the wrong things we do. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51.10 There are secret sins of the heart, such as jealousy, pride and impurity, Nothing is hidden from God. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Psalm 141.3 Our tongue is a little fox when it is unruly and undisciplined, judgmental, critical, fault-finding or gossiping. Our actions are like little destructive foxes when unkind, harsh, thoughtless, selfish or independent of Holy Spirit. These little foxes not only stunt the manifestation of our fruit, but they rob us of partaking of the table of rest, fellowship and provision the Lord has set for us. What do we do at a picnic when ants turn up? Do we let them run all over our food and cart it off for themselves? No, we stamp on them, squash them or spray them. We kill them. The same goes for the little foxes. We must kill them before they grow into big foxes and reproduce. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Galatians 5, 24 to 25. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and do not make provision for the flesh to fulfill its desires. Romans 13, 14. Most of us would never think of killing actual foxes, and some have difficulty even killing insects. Even so, at times we can try to protect our fleshly foxes with self-pity, self-justification, or even denial, but we must crucify the flesh, kill the little foxes before they become strongholds in our lives. The Lord's table is a place of rest and de-stressing, He sups with us. It's a time of joy in his presence where he will satisfy our mouths with good things. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies my mouth with good things, so that my youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 103, 1-5 Yes, we have to be alert to the schemes of dark forces around us, but we are not to fear them. We are not to be so preoccupied with the demonic that we neglect the little foxes of our flesh and fail to partake of all that the Lord has set before us. We are not to sup with him with anxious hearts, but rest in him. Rejoice in his presence and provision. Deal with the ants. Relax and de-stress. It's a picnic after all. Heavenly Father, thank you for preparing a table for me in the presence of my enemy. I choose to fear no evil because you are with me and everything I need is in you, Jesus. Lord, forgive me for allowing the little foxes to rob me of your provision and ruin my fruit. Forgive me for my unruly tongue, my disobedient thoughts and actions that were fleshly and not in submission to Holy Spirit. Help me to crucify the flesh that I may partake of all that you have provided for me, Lord, and relax at the table in the peace, joy and delights of your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen.